gearheads there's my friend big tex it is fair time in texas i am at the state fair of texas most notably the auto show at the state fair of texas and big tex is pointing the way he knows exactly where he wants to go the chevrolet booth and we will start here in the truck zone. We'll work our way outside and then work our way into that sweet, sweet air conditioning on the inside. But I do want to start here with the ZR2s, the full family of ZR2s, where the road ends, adventure begins with Chevrolet ZR2. You can see we've got Silverado ZR2 AEV Bison. You've got ZR2 AEV Bison in the 2500. So not only do you get a light duty, you get a heavy duty ZR2 AEV Bison. And then you can get just the regular grade Silverado ZR2 and yes even the Colorado offers a ZR2 they're actually the ones that initiated that option code ZR2 but there is your almost complete family they could have brought the AEV Bison version of that Colorado but tons of aftermarket uh accessories added onto those bison versions from american expedition uh, vehicles and lots of capability with the zr2 line of pickup trucks standard through line between all of them you've got that flow tie allowing air into the grill allowing more uh pass through cooling to the engines, whether it be the 6.6 diesel or the 2.7 uh, four cylinder or the 6.2 V8 or that three liter uh, baby Duramax. And then as we come over here, some more light off-road vehicles from them. We've got the Traverse Z71, the first ever Traverse Z71. So we have an off-road ready trim of the big three-row crossover people hauler. I really like the design of this. I keep the look of this Traverse in mind as we move just over here to the 25 uh, Suburban and Tahoes but boxier styling more rugged more masculine styling this being the z71 we get those tow hooks led lights up front all-terrain tires on a smaller wheel than what you get on the luxury versions or the uh, street going versions really like the look of it really boxy designs really modernized for the modern era this is a big three row people hauler. You can see we've got the third row folded down right now, but plenty of room on the inside. Next step up in Chevy's uh, SUV lineup would be the Tahoe. You can see here, again, keep this in mind when we get to Tahoe and Suburban, new gauge cluster design, full digital screens, very large freeform 17.7 inch display there for infotainment that does still have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Chevrolet is only getting rid of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto in their EVs, which is a perfect segue to these two pickup trucks right here on the uh, stage uh, in front of me. These are the Silverado EVs. This is the RST. This uh, is uh, the one they launched with right here. And this one is not an RST. You can tell the difference in the wheels. We'll kind of dive into that here in just a moment. I have a full video with an RST on the channel. I even compare an RST to a modern gas pickup truck in the 2025 Ram 1500 tungsten. But you can see here, fully digital gauge cluster, uh, all new design there. We've got that mid gate here that comes down 60, 40, but also comes down 100%, including that back window that they're demonstrating right there. So you can fold it down 60, 40 if you need just a little bit of extra room, but still need a rear uh, cargo or rear passenger, or then you can fold the full mid gate down and have tons of space as they demonstrate for us there. And then you can even flip up the load stop back here at the back to keep stuff from falling out. Now you've got like 11 feet of cargo carrying capability right here. It's truly amazing uh, what Chevrolet has done with this pickup truck. 
And now here you can see we've got a lesser trim still with the mid gate, still with four 110 plugs back here and a 240 plug, still with your multi-flex uh, tailgate. So all kinds of capability here, even on this LT. So we are in an LT, we've got the uh, gold badge on this one. You can see a big charge port door right here, still using the CCS. Uh, but they will be switching over to Nats soon enough. As we peek inside, little lesser on the interior than the RST. We don't get that red and blue stitching. I kind of like this a little bit better, the piping. I don't know, you sound off. Go watch my RST video, or we'll just kind of peek in here to the red and blue stitching and the piping. I don't know, it's, it's nice. Different looks at the same pickup truck. What do you like, black or black? Which do you want, black or black? But panning over here, these pickup trucks, these SUVs are built here in Texas, not too far from where I am currently standing. So we've got the new 25 Suburban and the new 25 Tahoe. The looks of these very much mimic that new design that we saw on the Traverse. The lighting pattern is the same and really just accentuates the big, bold size and style of this vehicle. You can see we are looking at the high country model, which is the most luxurious. You will know if you followed the channel for a while, my family and I just road tripped one of these 1800 miles across the state of Texas in a high country. It was a 2024 model, so did not have the updated looks, the uh, updated style. We had the three liter Duramax under the hood. Loved, loved, loved that powertrain. See high country badges there and then Again, look familiar from the last two Chevrolet vehicles we peeked inside. Same 17.7 inch display for infotainment, fully digital gauge cluster back there. Very similar layout and design in the dash as both the Silverado over there and the Traverse just over there. That is also true here in the Z71 Tahoe that we have. I really love this sage gray, uh, cypress gray. Cypress gray is this color. It's got a little bit of blue, a little bit of green in it. I love it. I think this is perhaps my favorite color on the market right now. I, mm, mm, it looks good. It would match uh, the new iPhone, what is it? Lakeshore green, I believe. Uh, yeah, really cool color, but again, 17.7 inch infotainment, free form, fully digital screen there. The big news for Z71 for 2025 is not only the updated styling, but the fact that we can now get that Duramax diesel in a Z71. It's gonna come a little bit later, but they reworked some of the um, ways that engine is packaged in a vehicle so that they could offer it on the z71 and not compromise what z71 stands for so your approach departure breakover angle those things really matter and apparently that duramax diesel had some issues fitting in a z71 packaged vehicle prior to the 2025 refresh so it's a little bit more than just uh, updated tech on the inside and updated styling we actually do get a new engine option new engine choice as we work our way to the back we have new taillights back here so uh, we've gone white and clear with the taillights. These do, of course, illuminate red uh, LED taillights here, but I really do like that. And you can see, still get plenty of room back here in the back. Nice view all the way in there uh, to the front of this uh, Chevy Tahoe. As we pop out from Tahoe and Suburban under the cover right there, if you've been a long time here at the fair, you know they've reworked some stuff over here but same general layout. We've got some more pickup trucks here on the side. We've got Trail Boss Colorado. We've got Heavy Duty. This was actually launched here at State Fair last year. This was a 24 model. First time you saw it was here at the State Fair on that stage before they rebuilt it. And then again, this gray, Cypress gray. My goodness, look at it in the sunlight. This is a stellar color i love this it is absolutely gorgeous cypress gray that is the color to get kudos chevrolet on this color the first time i saw it was on the chevy tracks coming over to the front of the buick here we've got the 
uh, Invista Avenir, the Invista ST. Both of these are mechanical siblings to the Chevy Trax. And you know, if you've watched this channel for a while, I love this vehicle. Max is out for under $30,000. Gives you all the stuff you want at an affordable price. Fully digital infotainment, uh, digital screen, plenty of room in all seats in this one. Nice flat floor. They did compromise its traction ability. The tracks it replaces for 22 offered all wheel drive, but this is bigger, roomier, but only offers front wheel drive. It's how they kept the price down. Like I said, it is mechanically similar to those two Invista models, but those have more of an SUV coupe-like look, whereas this has a more traditional SUV look. Those are also more luxurious. You can get a power hatch and some nicer amenities on the Invista. Interesting that Chevy brought this here. This is a Chevy Bolt, but it is through their partnership, their brand uh, that they have purchased actually, Cruise. It is a completely self-driving vehicle. That's what all the cameras and stuff are on the top. But yes, a completely driverless taxi. Very interesting to be sitting next to a Chevrolet Corvette. We've got a couple versions here including what my guys over at Seize the Speed are checking out with this Z06. This thing is nuts with its flat plane crank V8. And I really, really, really want to get behind the wheel of one of those. And then again, a little juxtaposition. We've got Trailblazer. We've got Blazer EV, which is not to be confused with. We'll go ahead and do the pan, do the pan. So Blazer EV. Blazer Gas. They share some switch gear, but yeah, they're not the same vehicle. So unlike what other v other brands are doing, where tacking EV means simply changing up the propulsion system, this is a completely separate vehicle. Then Chevrolet's new entry into electrification. We showed that Bolt earlier back there, but Bolt is not currently in production. But this Equinox EV is. This is the most affordable 300 plus mile EV you can get in America right now. Really like it in this red. It really pops. It's an RS, so you get all these black accents. And just like Blazer and Blazer EV, this shares nothing mechanically, even body panel wise, with the gas version. This is the new 2025 uh, Equinox EV, or Equinox Gas Equinox EV. And much like the terrain Denali we saw outside, or the um, so this shares a platform with that terrain Denali we saw outside and it is also in line with that rogue rock creek we saw so this is the active trim it is set to compete against that rogue so very cool interesting looks here I have a tour of all trims of this the LT and the RS but not this active trim just yet you can see full digital gauges and infotainment. I like the contrasting seats in this with this cactus green on the outside. The white roof looks really cool. Then I showed you at the Chevy booth earlier. This is another 2025 uh, Suburban. I had to get far enough around the side just to see how long it was. But yes, the new updated Suburban. Really liking this blue green color. Really reminds me of what uh, Camaro offered. Uh, in the 96, 97 model year. Again, a full digital gauge screen up there. I like the light colored interior. Wonder how that would wear uh, with a six year old like I have at home. Here you can see this looks to be the RST version, though I don't see any RST badges on it. But again, another 2025 model. And that updated grill, updated looks. Uh, on the front, updated interior on the inside. Yeah, this says RST, but we are not getting those big RST badges around on it, but I could tell from the blacked out Tahoe, uh, those big wheels, and I'm sure we will have an RST. Yep, boom, there on the tailgate. Also interesting back here on the back, uh, we couldn't show you on the models outside and they were dark anyway, but the black panel here underneath the rear window connecting and the taillights, which are now smoked uh, for the new model year, you can see even on that blue one just over there, 
the updated uh, hatch look of it. I like it better than the awkward chrome strip they were giving us on the 24s and newer. So very clean look. That being a Premier uh, slots underneath that high country we saw outside. The RST is a little more dark, um, dark luxury, if you will, uh, with our leather seats and all the dark interior. That is a quick look. It's a lot of walking, but a quick look at everything on display, automotive related at the 2024 State Fair of Texas. If you want to see more from us, more in-depth stuff from some of the vehicles here, hit the subscribe button down below, ring the bell so you are notified when those videos drop. Find us on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, X, TikTok, Threads, YouTube, you name it. Everything is at GT Garage Talk, or you can go to gtgaragetalk.com. But as for me, from the State Fair of Texas, until next time, gearheads, bye. All right, gearheads, I wasn't lying. There's my friend, Big Tex. It is fair time in Texas. I am at the State Fair of Texas, most notably the auto show at the State Fair of Texas. And Big Tex is pointing the way. He knows exactly where he wants to go. And that is the Chevrolet booth.